Hey, hope you're doing well. Um, just been and done my food shop. So, question I keep getting asked all the time is, uh, what do you do? What do you buy when you go shopping? What do you eat? Um, keep getting asked that question all the time. So, thought I might as well show you after I've just been shopping. So, let's have a look what we got. Um, here's all my bags. So, let's have a look. We've got there uh, mixed salad. So, that's one thing as well. Leafy greens, lots of spinach. Um, eat loads of spinach every week, every day. Um, you can just chop it up, throw it into any kind of meal, um, throw it in soups, mix it in with um, your eggs, which I've got there. So yeah, you can do anything with the spinach, or throw it in and eat that with most, most meals, really good. Um, so eggs again, um, organic there, 12 organic free range eggs. Um, usually breakfast, I have them mainly. Um, Usually have two or three eggs scrambled, uh, mixed in with chopped nuts and things like that, which I've probably got somewhere. Yeah, cashews over there. Um, let's have a look. What else have we got? Onions again. Usually throw those in with most meals when I'm putting things together. Um, mushrooms again, mainly organic stuff, as you can see. Um, so yeah, throw those in with most most meals. Lots of Great vegetables there on there, you can just throw in. Uh, let's have a look what else have we got. Um, peppers again. Chop all these kind of things up. All great, really healthy vegetables that you can throw into most meals. Delicious when you've done them. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, salsa. Yeah, I usually um, throw that with kind of if you cooking any chicken or anything like that and it's a nice little bit of a sauce that gives it a little bit more flavour. Um, you can th like what I would normally do is chop up a few mushrooms, a few onions, a few peppers, mix it in with the salsa, throw in your chicken, a bit of spinach, and you're done. So one other thing we've got in this bag is you can see that it's uh, flax, sunflower, pumpkin and sesame seeds with goji berries all mixed mixed down. And um, what I usually do is, uh, when I'm having my scrambled eggs in the morning, I get a spoonful of that, mix it in with the scrambled eggs. Um, if I have soup on at dinner time, throw it in with the soup. Um, what this is there, you'll see, is full of omega threes, fibre, antioxidants, um, which will help you um, get your body rid of toxins as well as uh, it's a real superfood. As you can see there, full of full of goodness. So you can just throw two or three. Spoonfuls of that in a day, uh, mix it in with your meals. You can't taste it, don't really taste it of anything, so it's just there, really healthy. So get yourself some of that. Uh, we've also got rice milk. Now, I usually don't have normal milk, um, so I'll always have rice milk because I try and avoid dairy as much as possible. So that's a good alternative to normal milk. Um, we've got some cooking oil. So this is palm oil that I use. As you can see, it's full of antioxidants again, omega threes. Um, great thing about this, it tells you all on the side. But um, when you're cooking with kind of normal, um, normal oils like sunflower oil, um, and you're cooking with uh, sunflower oil and other kind of uh, olive oils and things like that. Um, when they heat at high temperatures, they actually become uh, trans fats. If you've heard of trans fats, um, that's how you make trans fats. So, cooking with uh, those kind of oils, like your sunflower oil, your olive oil, is going to create trans fats and they're going to be toxic to your body. So, um, try and avoid them as much as possible. This palm oil there is stable at high temperatures. So, if you're going to cook with oil, that's great. If you're not, if you're going to use oils without cooking, then the olive oil and the palm, the um, Sunflower oils are great, so you can still use them, but just if you're cooking, go with the palm oil. So what else have I got? Let's have a look in this bag over here. Um, spice mixes, I just love these, just for extra, add extra bits of taste and flavour to, uh, to your meals. Then mix those with your peppers and your onions and your mushrooms and adds an extra bit of flavour. Just never bought these before, but um, saw them, thought they looked really good. Um, just again... Give myself a bit of extra flavour with some chicken, so it makes it even more delicious. So we'll see about that. I oh, might like them, might not. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got in here my 
tomato and basil soup. So I usually have uh, some kind of soup um, every day for dinner. So what I usually do, I've got this tomato soup. This week what I'll do is, you should find it in here. I've got um, some organic meatballs. I usually chop a few of those. They're all pre-cooked, so I can just chop a few of those, mix them in with the tomato soup. I'll throw in some uh, some of this there, spoonful or two. Um, and yeah, I usually throw in a bit of rocket as well. Um, spinach, sorry. And I'll throw that in with it um, and have that as a soup and that's my dinner. So I've got a few cans of tomato soup in there. I've also got a few cans of chopped tomatoes. But again, I can use to make my sauces when I do uh, chilies and um, mixing with whatever, whatever meat you want to mix it with. But you can get some great sauces and I usually just throw in a few of those spices. I've got a few spices in the cupboard and things like that as well. So just again, great flavour. Another tomatoes, obviously, uh, lots of nutrition in there. So we've also got look uh, chicken. Uh, I've got chicken. I've got chicken thighs and chicken breasts. So a bit of a mixture. Also got some minced lamb. And again, brilliant just to throw with your chopped tomatoes or maybe your salsa. Um, Again, throw your onions, your mushrooms, peppers, that kind of thing in there with your salad on the side. I've got cashew nuts, you can use them great as a snack. Um, lots of protein in there. Um, but again, you can throw those in with the meal if you wanted to, cook with those. Um, more lamb mints, uh, another of meatballs. What I'll do usually is um, freeze some of these. So I've got some for next week so I'll never run out. Um, I've also got uh, these are sweet potatoes, so um, great alternative to normal potatoes. Uh, they're a lot less um, turn sugar less quickly than a normal potato, and again, I think they're much nicer tasting as well. So I prefer those. Um, good alternative to having normal potatoes if you do have a lot of potatoes in your diet, because um, that's one of the things you want to cook cut out. So you'll notice no bread. Uh, no pasta, no potatoes other than the sweet potatoes, which I said is a good healthy alternative. Um, but there's nothing there that's going to cause you any problems with your diet. It's all going to help you lose lose weight and keep it off as well. Um, so yeah, good healthy stuff. So let me just have a quick look in the fridge. I'll just show you what else that I have in here. Um, at the top there we've got, that's just flaxseed at the back, if you can see that. Uh, these are chopped up mixed nuts that again you can throw in and that's, uh, what's that again, ground almonds. So I usually throw those in with a meal. Um, I've got some rocket left over there, just kept in there. You can see loads of vegetables and there's, those are my girlfriend's stir fries, the milk in the back, rice milk. You've got other vegetables, fruits um, in there. I've also got my supplements, so this is what I take every day. My omega 3s, uh, food enzymes, digestive enzymes. Uh, Great multivitamin and my liquid chlorophyll. I also have a two spoonfuls of uh, bicarbonate soda every day as well. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, other things that I've got already in the cupboard, in the fridge that uh, I didn't need to buy today. And as I said, what I usually do is I've got some food in the freezer. Something I made earlier, that's a chilli, I think that is. Um, in there, you've got, I've got cashew nuts, you chopped. Um, or bits of uh, what have we got in there? Usually throw in my mushrooms, my peppers, onions. Um, I've got some beans in there as well. So kidney beans. Um, obviously, usually made the sauce myself with the chopped tomatoes and spices. So yeah, food that I've already prepared myself is in there. So I've got quick ready meals. So yeah, if you need to know what to buy. This is what a personal trainer eats. This is the kind of food you should be getting yourself. Um, so, if you need to any more help, give us a call. Um, hopefully, that's helpful for enough for you. Just introduce you to my dog. Before I go, there he is, fast asleep. Dog's life, there you go. Speak soon.